June the 5th. Speak, Lord, for thy servant heareth. 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 9. And those who are rightly in authority over us, that works too. Though heralded with not a fear, our outward sign our show. Though only to the inward ear it whispers soft and low. Though dropping as the manna fell, unseen yet from above, noiseless as dewfall, heed it well, thy father's call of love. J.G. Whittier. This is one result of the attitude into which we are put by humility, by disinterestedness, by purity, by calmness, that we have the opportunity, the disengagement, the silence, in which we may watch what is the will of God concerning us, if we think no more of ourselves than we ought to think, if we seek not our own, but others' welfare, if we are prepared to take all things as God's dealings with us, then we may have a chance of catching from time to time what God has to tell us. In the Muslim devotions, one constant gesture is to put the hands to the ears, as if to listen for the messages from the other world. This is the attitude, the posture which our minds assume. If we have a standing place above and beyond the stir and confusion and dissipation of this mortal world. A.P. Stanley In the Muslim One constant gesture is to put the hands to the ears, while it's a modified form of the praise position. But you do say that hearing is God of all praise, and we mean God in terms of the singular and definitive. You know, because to, uh, to understand some of these things in Scripture, you really need to go beyond the simple translation. Um, but then it sounds all junctured and stuff. And um, the point is this stuff was is clear and smooth in its original. And it's important that we remember that stuff.